Hey fam, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be unboxing my BoxyCharm base and premium for the month of February, 2021. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. And if you're interested in this look, I do have a video coming or possibly already edited sharing how I did this look with you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into the base box. So here is our BoxyCharm base. The theme this month is BoxyCharm XOXO for Valentine's Day, I'm sure. So the first product I see is this one by Glamier. This is a really cute little brush set. It comes in this kind of sparkly plastic see-through carrier. And these little brushes are super cute. Check out these little hearts. Isn't that so sweet? I love it. I think it's really adorable. And these brushes feel pretty soft. Definitely synthetic. They're a little stiff, but not too bad. I think these will be really nice for eyeshadow. And I can't get over how cute these little handles are. I think they're so sweet. The set includes a little blending brush, a packing brush, a little detail brush, and an angled brush. I think that'll be very helpful. And I think these will be fun to use every single time I reach for them with these adorable little heart handles. I think they're so cute. The next product I see in the box is this one from Tula Skin Care. This is the So Poreless. Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. I absolutely do experience issues with congestion in my pores, and I love the idea that this will help, hopefully, to clean my pores. This has, it's a probiotic skincare. It says it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, and petroleum, formaldehydes, formaldehyde-releasing preservatives, triclosan, triclosan, retinol, gluten, synthetic fragrance and it says they are cruelty free. I'm really excited. I just opened up like my second to last cleanser, the one by Peach and Lily that I picked up, I think during maybe a boxy pop-up event and I have one more left. So really excited to see an exfoliating product that will help clean my skin. Always running out of these, always in need, always happy to receive them. Our next product comes from NCLA Treatments So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. Now we have gotten a couple cuticle well, maybe we only got one cuticle oil. I think the other one I got was from an Allure Beauty box. I was gonna say, they're kind of coming through with the cuticle oils, but this one's really cute. I like the little hearts inside. A little gimmicky, but I'm here for it. I mean, I think these are really cute. And it's cuticle oil, something I use every time I do my nails, which obviously is not today. And I think it would be something that'll be fun. Like every time you reach for it, it'll kind of make you smile with the, like, the little glitter and hearts, hopefully. So I think this is a nice product. Next in my base box is this product by Wander Beauty. This is the Double Date Lip and Cheek. I did receive this product in a Tribe Beauty box a few months back, but it was in a different shade. So I was really excited to see this in my box. This one is in the shade Sweet Talker and Swipe. You can see on top is a cream blush and it's in like an apricot peachy shade. And then on the bottom we have a balm and a little mirror, which is pretty cool. So you can use this as a lip balm or you can use it for like a glowy cheek. And same with the top. You can use it as a lip color or a cheek color. So I think these are really cute. The other one I have is a little bit more mauve -y, so I like that I got a different shade and I'm excited to give this a try. And the last product in my base box was my choice item and that is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. So this palette's really sweet. It is kind of like a 2020 vibe because there was so much that we weren't able to do in 2020, unfortunately, but you know, bigger fish to fry. This is the beautiful color story. And the shade names are things like beach, popsicle, stargazing, theme park, water slide, heat, raspberry, picnic, camping, fun, flower, vacation, flip flops, carnival, and hiking. So just things that like we would have done if it wasn't the kind of year we had in 2020 and now into 2021. So I thought that was really a sweet theme. I think these colors are really beautiful and really exciting. This would definitely be more of a summer palette for me, but I'm excited to tap into it even a little early. I think this is really, really pretty and inspiring. I actually really like Ace Beauté's formula, at least the Vintage Dawn palette that I tried, I really have enjoyed and I've reached for it several times. I did also recently pick up the Oceanic palette that I've had my eye on for forever. So I'm really excited to add to my Ace Beauté collection. Ace Beauté is a black owned makeup brand and I'm so happy to support them. I think that their palettes are absolutely beautiful and inspiring and I've really enjoyed my Vintage Dawn palette. Now let's jump into my premium box. So again, the theme is BoxyCharm XOXO. And the first product I see in my box was my choice item. That is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So I think this is a highlighter. This is in the shade Highlight 01. This is the component and this is our product. So I'm not sure if this is more of a highlighter or more of like an hourglass type product, like the finishing powders. Let's go ahead and swatch this. So I would definitely say this is more of a highlight. That's really, really beautiful. So excited to try this on my cheeks. 
The next product I see is so exciting. It is one from Elemis. This is the Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial. It's a hydrating sleeping mask. Elemis is so pricey. This is a huge box. I'm wondering how big the product is. Super pretty component. I love this dark purple. I'm really excited to see an Elemis product in the box, especially a sleeping mask, especially one for hydration. If you're new here, I have very dry skin, especially in the winter time. It's like a struggle. Let me just tell you. So seeing a sleeping mask in my box is so exciting. I don't do the best with masks that I have to wash off, but once I can leave on, I find that I incorporate them a lot more into my skincare routine. So super excited to see this product. Another exciting product is this one by Odacite. Odacite, I think. Um, this is a Blue Aura Turmeric and Holy Basil cleansing water. So it's another micellar cleansing water. This is in a glass bottle. It feels very bougie. But the reason I'm so excited is because micellar cleansing water is something I use all the time. It's something I'm always running low on and I'm so excited to get a product that I know I can get a lot of great use out of. It's exciting to see kind of a fancy version of this, but I'm just happy that it helps me take off my makeup. Sometimes lash glue can be like so hard to get out or if you have a, like a heavier look like I have on today, micellar cleansing water is that hitter. I love using this to clean eye makeup. It's so gentle, it doesn't irritate my eyes. And just knowing how often I go through micellar water, super happy to see this in my box. And I'm excited to try a new brand. The next product in my box was another one I was really excited about. I feel like they did really well with premium this month and base, base is good too. So this is the Tardist Double Take Eyeliner. So I think on one side it is a gel liner and the other side is a felt tip maybe. We have the little gel liner on one side. And I've heard really good things about Tarte liners. I don't think I have one yet. And then there's our little felt tip side. So really excited to see this in the box. It's something I can always get use out of. I think my roller lash by Benefit is like almost gone. Like it's, it's struggling a little bit. So super happy to see a liquid liner in my box. Next in my box, I see this product by Eloise. We did get a previous product from Eloise. It's the Queen palette. And this is the Get Lit Metallic Foiled Liquid Eyeshadow. Eloise is another brand. I believe the owner is a, is a woman of color. So really excited to see this in my box. Let's go ahead and take the cellophane off and we'll look and see what the component looks like and get some swatches. So here is our Eloise liquid shadow. Can we just talk about this packaging? Is it just me or is this stunning? Like, it's just giving me all the feels right now. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like swatched. It's got like a little, kind of like I guess a doe foot applicator. Oh my. Can we just can we just talk about this for a second? I mean, whew, she is a beauty. And I have a little a little bit of a spoiler. I'm so excited that I love this so much because I ordered one of these for y'all as well. I'm so excited. I'm waiting for one more delivery and then I will be showing you guys what will be coming in my upcoming giveaway. So thrilled, but this is one of the products I ordered and it is so pretty. I mean, like what the actual heck? This is so gorgeous. It looked really beautiful online and I was just hoping it would be like half as pretty in person and it's more beautiful in person. I'm just so thrilled with this product. It's so beautiful. And then the last product in my premium box is this one from Huda Beauty. This is the Pastels Lilac Palette. When I saw that these might be coming in the box, I was so hoping I would get one to try and I was really hoping for the purple one. So I'm so thrilled that I got this. So this is the little palette and this is the beautiful color story. Now I've heard definitely mixed reviews on these palettes. I don't think these were one of her best performers, but I'm still really excited to try it, especially this beautiful gold purple down here. I think this is gonna be stunning. I ho really hope I can get it to work well for me just because it's really, really beautiful. I also think I have a Ciate London glitter eye liquid eyeshadow that I think would look incredible with these as well. It's kind of like this shade, but in a liquid form. It could be beautiful. I'm so, so excited to receive this palette. I can't wait to play with it. So just to run over everything very quickly again. In base, we got the Tula Skin Care Pore Cleansing Product Exfoliator. We got the Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. We got the Glamier Brush Set that has the cute little hearts in this cute little plastic sparkly packaging. We got the cute little cuticle oil with the hearts and this beautiful Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. I think base was really awesome this month. I was really happy with everything, to be honest with you. And then in premium, we got the Pastel Lilac Palette from Huda Beauty, the Oda Cite Micellar Cleansing Water, the Lara Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder, which was gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this on my cheeks. We have the Tardist Double-Ended Liner, the Eloise Liquid Shadow that like took my breath away, 
and this fabulous Elemis Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial Sleeping Mask. I think Premium was pretty stellar as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me unbox the base and premium I received from BoxyCharm this month. I was really happy with the overall product selection. I think it was really exciting. I love that there were some fun Valentine's themed products in the box. Valentine's Day is my second or third favorite holiday. I love Halloween first. And then it's like a toss up between 4th of July and Valentine's Day for number two. Probably Valentine's Day. I just really love it. And then 4th of July. So I think all these little hearts are really cute. I love the brushes. I love that I got so many beautiful products. Super duper excited to play with everything. I'd love to know what you guys think of this month's selections. Were they products you would be excited about or are they a big miss for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye.